here is another chemtrail. They're all over the place. Look at this one. It's amazing. It goes right across the sky here. An aeroplane just flew past. How long ago was it? Just now. It's, it's just now. So what time is it now? Almost four o'clock on what, what day is it? It's, it's uh, Tuesday. Uh, well, I'm not sure the date. But look at this an aeroplane just flew past and aerosol sprayed. Look, look at it. I've zoomed in on it. Look at it. That's a chemtrail. It's filled with all kinds of chemical cocktails of corruption. To pollute the planet and as I'll explain before there are many purposes for the chemtrails there are about five main purposes for, for spraying the entire globe day and night 24 7 with these uh, chemtrails nanotechnology is within them nanotechnology look I'll zoom in up here look you know look at look at it now if it was a com it was a, it was a condensation trail. It would be gone by now. You see that? It's a chem trail. It would pay for you to do your own research on the internet and go to YouTube and type in chem trails, aerosol sprays, and uh, just have a look and see why it is that the government will not even admit that these things exist they say it's all our imagination and yet a plane just flew over here and sprayed this here and we're over here in uh, near, near Melbourne on the outskirts of Melbourne maybe an hour's drive from Melbourne and it's happening all around the world and people don't even know they don't even recognize it they don't look up people don't look up and know what's happening corruption pollution and these chemtrails are here to uh, knock the immune system of the hum human race down so that biological warfare attack will be more benefit you know have more impact look at all the chemtrails in behind there look as I zoom in here all of these wispy clouds underneath here so there's the chemtrail right there's the chemtrail and underneath you've got all those other older chemtrails and the whole sky is sort of like pale blue that's not natural. It used to be bright blue, beautiful dark blue. And all of this misty haze right up here. It's all unnatural cloud formation. And up on the left hand side there, you'll see some more chemtrails uh, streaming down there. See them streaming down there? Look. See them? Now over the back here, we've got some fairly really look natural looking clouds. These are natural looking clouds over the back here. There might be chemtrails mixed in with them and around them. But these ones here, up here there's some white fluffy clouds, they are natural clouds, but streaming in behind them, you see those chemtrails blending in with them and like all that, all that impaction. Th this, this sky is not natural sky colour. It's been corrupted and is continually being corrupted day and night being sprayed by NATO military planes and uh, makes you beg the question why and uh, because of our own ignorance we're being corrupted and no one's even concerned about it because they don't even know about it they don't even know about it they just say oh that's something up there I'm too busy working I'm too busy working by the sweat of my brow I'm too busy trying to feed the family and survive in this world I'm too busy to look up there and see that I'm being killed and destroyed by the food and by the air pollution and all other things. I'm too busy working. Everyone is out working. Everyone. Even the husbands and the wives are out working. The children are out working, trying to survive. We've got a moon in the background there. Look, there's a moon. There's the moon. Four o'clock in the afternoon, there's the moon. So everyone's so busy trying to work and survive to make a living in a world of corruption. And they're being wiped out, annihilated, genetically coded by the chemical cocktail of corruption that's being sprayed upon the planet day and night. Not many people know that the things you ingest actually change your DNA.
the food you eat, the water you drink, the air you breathe, everything that comes into your body encodes you, encrypts you, transforms you. And that's how they do it. They change the genetic structure of your body by the food we eat, by the air we breathe and the nanotechnology that they put in these chemtrails and the frequencies of low uh, radio emissions to actually cut and paste and snip and change the DNA sequences in your body through the nanotechnology that comes in through these aerosol sprays. It, it goes to every source of input to the human being, to the clothing we wear, even these little particles, nanotechnology, as they land on the cotton fields and on the sheep and on the things that clothes are made of. It goes on your body. Things we eat, it ends up in the water supply, it ends up in the fish, it ends up in the animals, it ends up on the plants, it ends up on the fertilizer in the soil. It ends up in your body and the nanotechnology starts working because these chemtrails are laced, they're laced with decimated red blood cell compound that attracts itself to the human blood and through the attraction to the human blood it starts to use those assembler robots in the nanotechnology itself of the chemtrail to start reassembling and assembling little devices in your body to cut and snip and paste your DNA and to transform your DNA to a workable receptivity to be completely controlled by an outside source through radio frequencies. Alien tech alien technology alien technology you see that chemtrail it's, it's getting wider now that's why I've kept on talking just to show you that this camera is still rolling and it's not a com it's not a contrail it's not a condensation trail but see how it's starting to spread out you see it's starting to spread out look at it it's starting to spread out and, and become a, a bit wider and that's the whole backdrop of the sky is actually older chemtrails and uh, part of the technology that they're using is because it's got barium, aluminium and many other minerals and uh, uh, other components in it, uh, one of the reasons they do it is to dehydrate the planet. In other words, to hold water up in the clouds, in, in the higher levels of the stratosphere, and to actually dry the planet up, to dry the planet up and take the rainfall away. Now, you might think that's very strange and how can they do it? Well, it's designed. It's been designed scientifically to take the water out of the atmosphere and to create drought. You see that? To create drought and to, and to put a plasma screen around the earth that they can project holographic pictures onto of uh, religious symbols and icons. Yeah, it's like a screen. It's like a, it's like a giant screen that they're going to project images onto. And they're doing that technology now. You've seen that one in Norway. And there's others around the world where there's a lot of strange phenomena happening in the clouds, in the skies, through lights and sound and light and sound shows of alien intervention. That's a chemtrail. And it's right here near Melbourne in Australia in the middle of April, right in the middle of April 2010. There it is. And you're going to see more and more and more of these all over the place because that's what's happening. As uh, your taxation money is paying for the military to do this, your taxation money is paying for the military to kill you. And the military people are murdering you and they don't even know they're doing it. They think they're doing something else. I don't know what they are told they're doing, but it's an expanding operation. It is an expanding operation, continuously expanding, and all of your dollars are going towards it. Everything that's in this world is here to corrupt you. The food we eat, the water we drink, the air we breathe, the television, communications, everything that's here corrupting the children, education, systems, law, everything is here to corrupt you. And it's been working this way for many thousands of years in the recent history of this earth. And none of you can understand it because you're hoodwinked by it. You're hoodwinked by what you know. And what you know is the deception. And it's here to cover up the, the history of the world and all of the covert operations 
You see, we only buy the cover story through the media. We only know the cover story that's been told us. The cover story is here to hide the perverse things that are being done in this world to totally control us, annihilate us, take us over and destroy us. And none of us are any the wiser. None of us know about it. Some do. Some are starting to wake up and start to look around. Look at this chemtrail conco concoction. A concoction of chemicals to corrupt the planet. And no one cares because they don't know. Well, it's time to wake up, people. It's time to wake up. This is me signing off, and I hope you wake up soon.